Hi, this is Dr. Weens. This old next um, video segment we're going to discuss is, first of all, your spine and your spinal column. It's made up of 26 individual vertebrae, which surround to protect your spinal cord and your brain stem, which is located up here in your upper neck. Um, we'll talk about your central nervous system next video, but regarding your spinal column, it is supposed to be in a cervical curve, I mean, a lower, do lower dotic, lower back kyphotic mid-back, meaning the opposite way, and then a lordotic neck with this big fat bowling ball we all have, our heads sitting on top. The average head weighs about 10 to 15 pounds. Um, your spine is supposed to be in this S-shaped three curve thing, and it's there's no, op, no um, argument about this. It's just how it goes. If you check any engineering or mechanical information or book or research on uh, arc is the strongest mechanical structure in the entire world. That's why bridges and things are based on them, wheels, all this stuff on equilateral triangles. And so if we just discuss the neck first of all, and because kind of, it'll fit on the video, your neck is supposed to be in this C-shaped curve with your head sitting directly on top of that. And if it is, our neck um, will absorb this 10 to 15 pound head we all have. And as long as that is the case, and our heads are being, our weight of our heads are being absorbed by this arc in the neck, um, there'll be no degeneration, there'll be no disc issues. Um, your body and your neck will be in perfect curve, and it'll be one of those things that never is an issue. What happens is, though, <clears throat> people sitting the way we do, or we're slouched forward, and our heads are shifted, or you'll walk around and see people with their heads way forward. Um, you know, laying incorrectly in bed with too many pillows, sitting in a car when they're driving all incorrectly, all this stuff will lead to eventually this micro traumas. The neck and the curve getting out of position, let's say it gets like that. And maybe you've had your x-ray taken before and your neck is straight. This is a huge, huge problem. If you're young enough and this happens, maybe you got into a car accident, you fell on your head, you injured it skiing or CrossFit or doing something like that, it just caused some problems. Maybe you're on a computer all day for 15, 20 years and now all of a sudden you've got neck pain, you've got a hump in your mid back because everything shifted so far. A lot of this happens, right, where this big hump in our upper back, right where our shoulders are, causes, and that's because you've lost the curve in your neck. Um, so no matter the reason or why it's there, when you lose that curve, causes the head now to be shifted to where the weight of the head's coming down in front instead of being absorbed back here where it's supposed to be. And if that happens, we, that's called phase one of degenerative disc disease. If left alone and not fixed, not only will this lead to back pain and neck pain, this is going to, because of the load, squash and cause these discs to degenerate, um, for them to develop spurring and arthritic issues, um, all kinds of problems will as a result of this. If left with phase one degeneration for 10, 15, 20 years, you'll develop phase two, which is where that disc becomes crushed and those nerves that exit the spinal column become impinged. And wherever those nerves go, there's a problem then. If phase two never get fixed, phase three, which is where there's fusion. And if the spine fuses itself, there's nothing anybody can do for you. You are just going to be in a compromised position and lead to major, major problems, whether it is back pain, neck pain, headaches, um, shooting, numbness and tingling, or pain down your arms. Uh, this also could happen in your lower back. Whatever it might be, our job, and you only have one spine in your whole life, I hope I would implore you that your spine would be something that you make sure you take care of. Well, the only way this thing gets fixed, this curve problem, is not by physical therapy, is not by medication, um, it's not by surgery. This only can get done by a chiropractor that does it, that fixes and adjusts you to allow this thing to restore back to where it's supposed to be. I do this all the time, happens all the time in chiropractor's offices. Get this head, this 10 to 15 pounds being absorbed correctly over your shoulders where your ear is going through, right? Your ear is going through your shoulder, through your hip, through your ankle, through your knee on the side. Should be just a straight line called a plumb line. And if that's the case, then you just need to maintain that by seeing a chiropractor regularly. 
once or twice a month if, if your spine's already correct. If it's not, then you've got to get that thing fixed by getting adjusted on a regular basis and doing rehabilitation, um, stretches, exercises, muscular rehab as to us to help return these curves back to where they're supposed to be. So that your spine's in the proper curves from the side and straight up and down front to back. This is unarguably the way the body is designed, the spine's supposed to be. And if it is that way, then you're going to live pain-free, have full of energy, full of function, full happiness, um, not get diseases you shouldn't get. Um, everything starts with your spine. Okay, so we're gonna talk about nutrition, we're gonna talk about fitness, we're gonna talk about um, weight loss and, and how to eat correctly and um, how to have your mind right and goal setting and all that stuff. But right now, whether you have neck pain or back pain or not, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's whether you're going to get them later and whether we can prevent them from ever happening in the first place. So by us getting your spine back to where it's supposed to be, you're going to function as well as possible, heal as well as possible, and then be able to live a lifestyle where you just don't have to worry about that stuff. We'll talk in the future about medical costs and how come people that don't take care of themselves spend hundreds and hundreds and millions of dollars on their health later in life because they never took care of themselves when they were younger. So my objective, my hope, is that you will do that, that if you don't have a chiropractor, you would come in here in Reno, you would come see me, um, that you let me check you out and see how your body's doing, that if you need a chiropractor in another city or another state, you let me know, at Dr. Wayne Sissel at yahoo.com, and I will find you a chiropractor wherever. Um, but my job is just to help you as much as possible, and I just need you to understand your spine is the key to your body functioning, uh, whether you're in bodybuilding or CrossFit or whatever, if your spine's not in the right position, it's not gonna move properly, and it's not gonna allow you to get either as strong as you possibly can to hit weights that you're supposed to be hitting or that you should be uh, moving as well as you can. I mean, all that stuff is gonna become a big, big factor and a big problem. So um, until next time, have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon.